everybody, my name is Virus Alert, and I am back with you for another video. Today, we will be looking at Windows 95, or codename Chicago. Now, I got for you a, the, one of the earliest builds that is verified, that we know is part of the Chicago series. And that is build, that is build 58S. Now, it's right off the bat where you guys can see that this is a really different looking build than what we are used to. A lot different than what we've seen in Windows 3.1, in Windows 2, and in Windows 1. It is a whole lot different. And it looks very nice. It looks more like a modern kind of setup screen. I had to really, ins I had to actually install Windows 3.1 and to install this and I had to make a couple of cuts because this um, operating system it's a little buggy and it didn't like to be worked with so uh, stuff happens now this was compiled in August 1993 I don't have a specific date on when it was compiled but I do know that from sources that it was compiled in August 1993 this, this build of Chicago, the earliest build of Chicago that we know is verified to exist, is part of a preliminary development stage of Chicago. I don't know if you guys saw my preview video. I'll have a, I'll have a little a card for that. Um, Microsoft was thinking of doing something else. Windows 93 was its uh, little, was supposed to be its just little name of it. And it was codenamed Kruger. But it really wasn't an operating system. It was more of a kernel update to window to DOS 7. And here's our new splash screen. This is very new. You can see the preliminary release, August 1993. Um, pretty much what it was was it was supposed to be something for Windows for DOS. I'm sorry, not Windows 7. DOS 7, and it was just supposed to be a little kernel thing. And this. Uh, operating system Chicago was going to be built on top of that so it was going to be using that and here we go this is Windows Chicago here we got a little pre-release version of Chicago we got a background of under construction and there is what the start menu looked like in this build uh, I have to enter a beta site ID and to my knowledge we can share this it's perfectly legal to share this to share any serial numbers of any abandoned wear because it is abandoned wear so we can share this. If you guys want to, if you guys really want to test these builds out for yourself, if you guys really want, I could do a tutorial for you guys to make all these builds so you guys can check them out. See what I had to go through to actually do this. I had to not use, I couldn't use VirtualBox anymore. I just could not use because this thing would break. And I had to go to another emulator called PSEM. And it, what it does is it emulates actual hardware. It actually makes it, it makes the computer look like it's actually running on the hardware it was supposed to be. So say it was an old IBM computer, it would run as if it was an IBM computer. Now the downside to that is you actually install stuff in real time. So it feels like it's a real computer. So it's basically if you had wanted to install stuff from floppy disks, you would feel that struggle finding the image files but anyway this is what windows um chicago build 58s looks like it looks it looks a little bit like windows 3.1 it still has those little icons of windows 3.1 but instead of the arrows on um, if you guys can see on the upper left hand corner it looks more like the modern ones that we would see like the maximize the minimize and it just looks it looks just like any other beta build and recycled recycle the recycle bin is called recycle dot bin and a little um, minimized animation now there is a build before this it was build 56 I need to talk about this because there are some controversies over build 56 now I was gonna do build 56 now there's a reason why I didn't do build 56 one is I assume that it would be identical to build 58. I already know that it was going to be almost identical to build 58 and supposedly that build was also compiled in the same date range of August 1993. So it, I really wouldn't, it wouldn't be any use for me to do that. Second, the, it wouldn't work. It just did not work. 
it would not work at all and I had to deal with it not going past the little sign-in screen it wouldn't it would just it would tell me that it couldn't find a driver and that's it oh we have new games free cell there's free cell here this is what we never saw in Windows 3.1 we never saw this kind of stuff free cell we didn't we never saw this Dr. Watson's still here. There's a tracker for if you want to do bug reports. I, I'm sorry. And this is the Hearts Network. This is the birth of micro, the Microsoft Hearts Network. You still would have saw that. You still would have seen this in Windows XP, as I think is when it was still there. And it's still here. And I, I honestly don't know how to play this. I'm, I, excuse me. And I didn't want to waste too much time. I just wanted to show you guys what this whole operating system looks like. I like looking at the nitty gritty details. I like show. I don't like being generalized. I don't like generalizing. I like showing you guys the nitty gritty. The I like showing you guys the nitty gritty. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a little rambling right now. Paint looks the way it was, and this is the addition of RegEdit, but RegEdit looks a little different. Now I haven't seen RegEdit in Windows 3.1 at all. So, but if I, did, but there is, please correct me on that. There's a couple. There's a lot of new icons. Everything looks pretty much the same to Windows 3.1, except like this whole like desktop it looks so different it looks on it honestly looks like windows 95 how it is how it was and there's a lot of other there was a couple of things i didn't want to click i tried clicking the programs files for you guys but it crashed it would have crashed the system i already knew this beforehand because i like testing everything before i do a video on it and then show you guys it so yeah it crashed so i didn't want to have have those technical difficulties and we still have minesweeper still the same thing and we pretty much this is what the earliest build looks like and now back on topic of why didn't review build 56 so like i said it was buggy it wouldn't let me go past the login screen thirdly it isn't a verified build of chicago it really isn't a verified build of chicago people are speculating that it isn't really a verified build of chicago what uh to build on top of that the build was supposedly made from files of other builds and it was just modified to report a different version number so i'm taking that with a grain of salt i don't want to feed you guys false information and i just don't want to be that kind of guy that just feeds you guys false information i want you guys to see the true build of chicago i want to give you guys the actual stuff Chicago to actually show you guys the real builds and so you guys can learn and see the development process and see what the develop what the devs have been putting in now as you guys can see this the Chicago folder is pretty darn full there's a lot of stuff that you didn't see in the last version of Windows which is Windows 3.1 there's a lot of stuff here that we've never seen here and it looks pretty cool oh uh, speaking of this with PSEM, I found out that you can use a lot of older... Oh, sorry about that. There is version 4.0.0.58S, so you know this is the Windows 58 version. Anyways, I think I could revisit the Windows 3X series. I could show you guys what Windows 3.0 would have looked like in its beta stages. I still have those beta files. I still have those and I could give you guys some of those videos let me know if you guys want some of those videos I'll probably do those video and if you guys don't respond or anything I'll probably do those videos for when I'm busy when I have to pick up an emergency video when since school's gonna be starting up in a couple in like about um, two months I don't want to give you I don't want to leave you guys hanging dry so I'm gonna try and work my butt off this month the rest of this month the beginnings of next of next month and just try and pump out the videos have them all ready have those emergency videos ready and of course have videos ready for you guys for that so when i enter school i'm only going to probably be uploading once a month so well not once a month, i'm sorry once a week i'm very sorry guys i'm uh, i'm going to leave you guys hung and dry here now we're going to test out our cycle bin let's test it out recycle bin and there's uh, the new um display folders too that was that was cool display settings was really nice so we're gonna delete the programs folder because it's because recycle bin works and we can put it back that's pretty much all about it for chicago build 56 58 i'm sorry <laughs> well um 
that'll be it guys that's all for me thank you guys so much for watching please rate comment and subscribe if you guys want more let me know if you guys want that little mini series thank you again for watching thanks for all the support virus vulnerable signing off